Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best portable radios. Starting at number 5. Senji and WR50P. Who it's for? Choose this system if you want higher quality stereo sound and all the latest features, plus easy tuning and solid reception. Why it's great, the two-piece Senji and WR50P system is utterly packed with features, including Bluetooth connectivity, with NFC pairing, digital tuning, 10 station presets on the face of the receiver and 18 via the included IR remote control, dual alarms, and snooze and sleep features. Although the built-in telescoping antenna is the only option for FM reception, the WR50P's FM performance ranked among the best overall in our tests. The system also includes a connection for you to attach your own external AM antenna. It picked up a total of 19 FM channels, earning the top score among our picks in that regard, and received 16 AM channels, with only the Sanji and WR15 and WR11 SE radios beating it in AM reception. Coming at number 4. Victrola Wooden Desktop. Who it's for, we recommend this radio for FM-only listeners, especially those who might want their radio to double as a Bluetooth speaker. Why it's great, if the Victrola Houston supported AM radio too, it would tie with the Sanji and WR15 for the best overall performance. It picked up a total of 18 out of 42 San Diego FM stations that were available during our testing, and it produced the least amount of static, at least on the FM side, of the radios we tested, with help from its tall, retractable antenna. This radio provided rich, robust sound and played surprisingly loud, so loud that we needed to put it on low levels for casual listening. With a wooden cabinet and a chrome-like front, it's an enjoyable radio to look at, though the wood appears much more grey in person than it does in photos. The Houston includes built-in Bluetooth support, as well as an auxiliary analog input for you to connect other audio sources. One of its three dials allows you to easily switch between radio, Bluetooth, and auxiliary sources, and as you do that, the channel dial's color switches between red, blue, and green, respectively. At number 3. Studebaker SB2000TS. Who it's for? This radio is a good choice for someone who wants to try out radio listening without making a big investment or who wants a more portable, battery-powered radio to move around the house. Why it's great, the super affordable Studebaker SB2000 did surprisingly well in our channel tests, scoring as well as some Sanjian models in its FM radio performance in the San Diego area, but we heard more static on stations that were farther away. Although it didn't pick up a ton of AM channels, it landed in the middle of our testing results, even beating more expensive radios like the Tivoli 1BT in reception. Though the sound quality lost some bass compared with what we heard from the rest of our picks, it wasn't bad for the price, and music was still enjoyable to listen to on a strong channel. The speaker's volume capabilities were lower than those of the other radios we tested, and we found ourselves turning it up to at least the middle of its volume dial even for casual listening but the highest volume settings were loud enough to fill a 10 by 12 foot room. Number 2 of my list. Sanji and WR11SE. Who it's for, we recommend this radio if you like the retro look of the Sanji and WR15 but prefer a horizontal cabinet design. Why it's great, the Sanji and WR11SE is nearly identical in performance and hardware to the WR15, just in a slightly different package. Imagine three small flat-rate priority mailboxes in a stack, and you'll get a good mental image of its size. The WR11SE scored similarly to the WR15 in the number of FM channels it received and fell behind by just a few stations in AM reception. However, the quality of its signal wasn't quite as good. We heard more static on this radio than we did on the WR15, but it still performed better than many other radios we tested and it picked up popular stations clearly. It includes the same LED light found on the WR15 to let you know when you've locked onto a station, along with both an internal antenna and an additional external FM antenna. It also provides the same rich sound, with a rear-firing base port. It has the same connection options as the WR15, offering an auxiliary audio input, a line audio output, and a headphone jack. And number one. 
Sanji and WR15WL. Who it's for? This radio is great for anyone who wants an old school look paired with easy tuning, great sound, and solid reception, all tucked into a vertical cabinet that's ideal for both shelves and countertops. Why it's great? The Sanjian WR15 has been one of our favorite radios since 2017. The semicircle tuning dial is easy to read, the centrally located tuning knob has a smooth feel, and the green LED light above the dial lets you know when you've locked on to a station's strongest signal. The design is reminiscent of retro radios but remains clean and easy to navigate, and the radio is available in three finishes, walnut, black leatherette, and silver piano, shown above. When we used its internal FM antenna, the WR15 picked up 17 of the 42 FM radio stations available in the San Diego area at the time of our testing. For reference, the best performance we saw was a total of 21 stations, due to our testing location's distance from the transmitters. See how we picked and tested for more details on our testing process. And it delivered clearer signals with louder sound and less static than we got from many other radios we tested. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.